All right, this is a 2015 Nissan Rogue transmission. Uh, I believe it's the RE0 F10D. So all the Nissan nerds can quote me on it. So a little bit about this one. It made a bunch of noise while driving. Um, it almost sounded like a wheel bearing. And upon further investigation, it, it actually, if you scoped it, it almost sounded like it was coming from the transfer case. Um, disassemble the transfer case, no issues there. Uh, so it has to be internal in the transmission is what I was suspecting. Uh, and it was right. Just wanted to go through and show you some of the Nissan designs here in the CVT. We'll pop it open, take a peek, and uh, see if it's ridiculous or not. Let's see what some. <clears throat> All right, now that we got this case cracked open, you can kind of see the gears here. Um, now this is all gonna go to the final drive. So the differential here, which is inside the gear, which would go to your transfer case. And I'll put the power here. Um, and this is where I'm suspecting where the, the noise from the bearing is, because it's definitely bearing noise. Um, I'll just pull some of these out here, these gears. That uh, gear's got a couple of nicks in it right there, which is probably Probably the culprit here, actually. You can see the race. Yeah, look at that. Look at the race on that thing. It's all chewed up here. And then you can see the the rollers on here. Look at that. It's all worn to pieces. <clears throat> so that's definitely the bearing noise we're hearing. It's right here in the uh, in the race. And that was my suspicion. I, uh, I did contact Nissan, and they said this part is not uh, replaceable. Um, actually, they looked it up and said it says transmission assembly. So not much you can do with these things, apparently. That's a fault of Nissan's, of course. <clears throat> take this differential out here. Take a peek at that. You see I got that. This is a cap that I got here so it wouldn't leak everywhere. Um... Yeah, let's uh, maybe go a little bit further and just uh, see the, the rest of the, the goodies in this beast and, and uh, do some digging. Let's learn a little bit here, okay? Chain covers off here. Okay, so this goes to the pump, it must be. Look at this chain, all the slack in that. I'm not sure if that's supposed to be normal or not. All right, so that's not how it comes out. The uh, snap ring is just like a fucking wire. Look at that. That's supposed to be a snap ring. It's just like a wire. So, another failed quality part on Nissan's here. So this must just run to the pump. Yeah, I think that's how it runs. Let's see if we can get the pump off here. So this is just a little case guide here for that chain and the gear set. Yep, and this is your pump goes to the uh, 
door converter and everything. So here's your, your pub. You see all the clutch discs in there. A little planetary set. Show you something cool. So you can see this race and all the metal that came off of it. And actually there's, whoop, lost my mic. Try this again. All right, so you can see this race here, all the metal that have come, come off the race at the bearings. Um, that gets in the fluid, and these uh, speed sensors are magnetic. And look at the metal that gets stuck to them. I mean, this is on all the sensors. Kind of get that visual there. So all that stuff sticks to it, you know, and cute little pump here. That's to get the fluid through it. Um, not much to these. Obviously, you can take the valve body and look at that, too. Um, but it's just uh, cool to see these things apart. Like I said, the uh, it's all big band and chain driven on the other side. Let me show you that. All right, so I got the other back side of the case half off here, and you can see the steel belt that uh, runs the power throughout here. And this is actually in the in the bulletin that they're, they claim to extend the warranty on. This is actually what's been breaking on these units, and uh, they have a reason for, you know, uh, heavy application, heavy use, which... Again, if you're <laughs> if you're towing with a Nissan Rogue, you you've probably done something wrong. Um, fortunately, this belt looks good on this one, uh, which wasn't actually the uh, the issue. Um, obviously, the failure was was on that uh, final drive set over yonder <clears throat> with this with these bearings on this thing in the race, of course. You know, and it just made a ton of wheel bearing noise it sounded like a wheel bearing i should say but it was obviously in the transmission so kind of cool to take apart you know servicing these things there uh, i i don't really have a good source for parts maybe there's something out there that you you can uh, every time i talk to nissan they they don't sell you pretty much anything on this at least on my end so anyway it's pretty cool to have a part um i'll see if i can find that tsb and share that with you guys too All right, another tip too, if you replace the transmission with a used one, or in a new one of that matter, you have to reprogram the TCM. Uh, a lot of these scrap yards, salvage yards, whatever you want to call them, you can get the TCM with it, which I highly recommend because all the strategies are learned into this thing. And uh, then you do not have to program if you get the module um, in companionship with the transmission. So if you have the module and the transmission that came out of the same vehicle, uh, you will not throw any codes. It'll shift and do everything like it's supposed to. So just a little heads up. Good old Nissan Rogue. That's all I got for you. Have a good one.